Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to watch another part from the series from tutorial or online course of how to repair your Karcher HD class power washer high pressure cleaner. We are repairing Karcher HD5 slash 15C. As you can see, it's already done. We have tested, it works great. But as I have mentioned in the previous video, if there will be still some even small leaks because of the Karcher overflow valve, valve or bypass valve or spill valve or whatever, whatever you call it, here is the product number. I'll change the O-rings. Here you can see the O-rings. The positive thing is that you can buy uh, at the car in the Karcher eShop only the O-rings, which they cost only a few euros. There are two ways how to fix it, how, how to fix this overflow valve. Either you change it completely or replace it completely or you, you just replace the O-rings. So in this case we will replace only O-rings. Another positive thing is that you don't have to disassemble whole machine again or to disconnect the brass pump. You just take down the front cover and you can disassemble front part of the brass pump, take out the overflow valve and change the o-rings. What we will need is, as usual, we will need WD-40 and we will need these tools. Number 17, screw that flat screwdriver, pliers, thin screwdriver, thin flat screwdriver, maybe nylon pick. You can, you can take out the o-rings either with the thin flat screwdriver or with nylon pick. Our well-known silicone grease, Liquimoly. And that's probably it. First of all, we have to take down or take off the front cover. So I'll use the flat screwdriver because I've got such a screw. As you can see, we can access the brass pump and the place where the overflow, overflow wall valve is. Uh, if this overflow valve were not changed before or you haven't released the screw, you have to use WD-40 and let it there for a while, maybe even for overnight. So it will be easier to release the screw. It's number 17, so you will see that it will go easily, because I have already had it out. I used silicone grease, not just to grease the o-ring here, but everything, so it, it went nicely. Now we have to use pliers like this. And of course, again, apply WD-40 
over there and le let it there and afterwards you can this way slowly and gently not to damage anything and not to scratch the brass parts take out the thing the brass thing inside that's at the top look at this it looks like this and now again well now you don't have to apply because you have already applied WD-40 so this way but again gently pull out the bypass valve it's water there because yesterday I have tested with water and as you can see this part cost roughly brand new 30 euro but if you change only this there are four over here one o-ring and there are three the two the same on the sides and in the middle is a different one so I'll try to replace only the o-rings the best way is to use the nylon picks you won't scratch uh, you won't scratch the surface or damage the o-rings but if you don't have a nylon pick you can use thin screwdriver like this one and it will do the job as well just remember that this these two on the sides are different so and in the middle is again different one so I'll take out these ones as well Now apply a bit of a silicone grease. The same with the o-rings, the new o-rings. And place it where it should be. You see? Nice. Now Over here will go these ones on the top. As I mentioned, they are not the same. These two, these two are different from this one. So first grease one of these two. Yeah, it's there. This, these two are actually not O-rings. They've got a little bit different shapes, so we will see it. Now, put the O-ring in the middle. There was, in that, there was in the set that you bought. there 
and the last again this ring but it's not the o-ring it's a little bit different shape and you will again now you have to sort them so you will find because now the the last one has to be on the top the o-ring has to be in the middle so okay now it's okay and i can again i'll grease them a little bit with the silicone grease You can apply a bit of a silicone grease on the spring as well. And whenever you have it, you just slide it down to the hole this way. You see, this is the top, so this way you will slide it down. It has to fit there nicely. Okay, now it's okay. And again, this washer or whatever it is, brass washer, again, apply silicone grease. And with the, with the wider part, put it down, slide it down to the Oh. Again, a bit of a silicone grease. And you can screw it or tighten it. Now use number 17. Now it should be alright. Reply, uh, not reply, uh, apply reasonable force. You have to feel it whenever it should be alright. Now this we, we will increase the pressure nearly to maximum. So it's alright now. And we can place back 
front cover where it was before. You see, there are such a plastic holders or whatever it's called. They have to fit into the body of the power washer and then just tighten the screw. And now we have it. That's everything. One more thing we can put back this thing with the filter. And position it in the upright position. And we have, our, we have our power washer, high pressure cleaner, ready for work, fixed in 100% condition. Th thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.